there are better ways to keep cool. Call KS Services and receive a new Bryant unit with no payments and no interest for 18 months. Stay cool now and pay later. Visit callks.com for more. It's the Weather Extreme video for Saturday, August 22nd, 2020. I'm Scott Martin. Scattered to numerous showers and storms can be expected for the weekend, but the forecast tracks for Laura and Marco continue to move around with each update, making the prognostication for the work week a little tricky. Let's get straight to the tropics. As of 4 a.m. this morning, the center of Tropical Storm Laura was located around 70 miles southeast of San Juan, Puerto Rico. Laura is moving towards the west near 21 miles per hour and a generally west-northwestward motion is expected over the next few days. On the forecast track, the center of Laura will move near or over portions of the Virgin Islands and Puerto Rico this morning, near or over Hispaniola this afternoon and tonight, and near or over eastern Cuba Sunday and Sunday night. Maximum sustained winds are near 40 miles per hour with higher gusts. Slow strengthening is expected during the next few days. Model guidance for Laura continues to show a rather widespread of potential landfalls starting as far west as South Texas and stretching to as far east as Destin, Florida. Intensity guidance is a little more uniform in nature, keeping it mostly as a tropical storm. But a few outliers ramp it up to a Category 1 hurricane and a couple even taking it to Category 4 strength. It is still rather early to know for sure what we'll have once Laura emerges over the Gulf of Mexico late on Monday night. Also at 4 a.m., the center of Tropical Storm Marco was located around 115 miles east-southeast of Cozumel, Mexico. Marco is moving towards the north-northwest near 12 miles per hour. A northwestward motion is expected on Sunday, followed by a turn toward the northwest and west-northwest early next week. On the forecast track, the center of Marco will approach the east coast of the Yucatan Peninsula of Mexico today. The center will approach the northeastern part of the Yucatan Peninsula by early evening and move over the central Gulf of Mexico toward the northwestern Gulf on Sunday and Monday, followed by a track toward the northwestern Gulf Coast on Tuesday. Maximum sustained winds are near 45 miles per hour with higher gusts. Additional strengthening is forecast during the next couple of days as the system approaches the Yucatan Peninsula and Marco could be near hurricane strength when it moves over the central Gulf of Mexico Sunday night and early Monday. It's the same story on model guidance for Marco as well, with potential landfall sites spread as far west as the southern tip of Texas to as far east as Pensacola, Florida. Nearly all of the intensity guidance members keep it as a tropical storm only with a few members briefly taking it to a weak Category 1 hurricane for a few hours. We'll have to wait and see how Marco fares as it passes the Yucatan Peninsula today and emerges into the Gulf of Mexico on Sunday. Then we can get a better idea on what to expect. We also have a disorganized set of showers and thunderstorms that are located between the west coast of Africa and the Cabo Verde Islands that is associated with a broad area of low pressure and a tropical wave. This disturbance is expected to move westward across the Cabo Verde Islands on Saturday and will likely produce gusty winds and locally heavy rainfall there. Some slow development of this wave could occur during the next couple of days while it moves across the eastern tropical Atlantic before environmental conditions become less favorable for development. It has a very low chance of developing into a tropical cyclone over the next five days, around 20%. Now let's get to the forecast for central Alabama and we'll start off with the 06Z run of the GFS valid today at 1 p.m. Skies will be occasionally cloudy at times throughout the weekend with a decent chance of scattered to numerous showers and thunderstorms on both days. Most will occur during the afternoon and evening hours, but with this soupy atmosphere, a few morning and or late night showers and storms will be possible. Highs will be in the mid to upper 80s on both days. The forecast for the work week ahead all depends on where the two tropical systems end up going, but as of this morning's 4 a.m. update, we'll see a minimal effect off of both storms. Monday will feature mostly cloudy skies with a decent chance of scattered showers and storms throughout much of the day as we could see some tropical moisture being pulled up into central Alabama, especially on Monday evening. Much of the same story for Tuesday as tropical moisture will be available and scattered showers and storms can be expected. 
With this latest run of the models, Wednesday is actually trending drier with only a few scattered showers and storms possible. Thursday is even drier with isolated to scattered showers and storms being possible in the afternoon as much of the moisture will be well to our west with Laura as she moves through Texas. Scattered to numerous showers and storms return for Friday as the moisture starts to move eastward into the southeast. Highs throughout the week will mainly be in the upper 80s to the lower 90s. That will wrap it up for today's Weather Extreme video. We'll have notes on the blog throughout the day. Bill Murray will have the next video out on Sunday morning. I'm Scott Martin signing off for today. Have a great day and God bless. Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today.